hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is lauren in today's video i will be going over um the budget by paycheck mom expense tracker in her workbook i'm just here to show you guys how to go about utilizing it if you have issues you know tracking your expenses as you know this is a very 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 important or crucial part in the using the budgeting method or the budgeting system i'm gonna say it again i'm gonna reiterate this statement it is important to track your expenses because if you don't you will have no idea where your money is going towards or even more importantly are you saving for your goals your why why are you why did you begin budgeting so guys this is what the expense tracker look like in the budget by paycheck workbook the first thing you want to identify is your spending accounts do you use cash only so that means you would have a checking account on one expense tracker if you use cash you would have a cash as your account if you are like me and you use both you would have one for checking one for cash now like i said in the beginning of the video it is very much important to track your expenses it is great to have a budget but then what really matters is your spending habits where your money is going towards so i'm going to show you guys how to go about writing your expenses on the expense tracker as you can see i am tracking for the month of november if you watched my budget breakdown for the month of november you would know that my income came in on the 26th of october so from the 26th onwards i started tracking now another thing you need to make note of is your starting balance in your checking account i have many checking accounts, but the checking account that i look at is where my paycheck goes to and what happens in that account my sinking funds savings are stored in a separate checking account i do not include this in this expense tracker because it is solely for saving purposes i am not doing any expenses and if i withdraw money from here i'm going to add it to this account which i use for when my paycheck hits my account so the account that i use is my um salary account when my salary hits where the account i also use to pay my bills and before you, um, my salary hit my account, on the 25th of October, I had a balance of $25.95. It is important to note how much you had prior to your paycheck hit. 25th, I had a balance of $25.95. This would be my starting balance in my checking account. On the 26th, I'm not sure if you guys could see. On the 26th, my paycheck um, hit my account, the 26th of October. So it was a total of $2,988.91. When you add that plus my starting balance, I would what would reflect in my account would be $3,000. $14.86. Moving along from there, I started deducting the amounts I paid for bills. So we have Apple services, life insurance, health insurance. All of these came out from my account. And as I am taking it out, I am also subtracting. The money is also going down, I should say. Building loans. So all my bills, as you could see, is being deducted. This is what you use the tracking expense tracker for to track every expense whether it's small whether it's a, a bank overdraft whether it's something you track it and my school payment on the 26th as well i did a cash withdrawal meaning i took out one thousand five hundred and fifteen dollars to stuff my envelopes which i use cash for if you could see cash transfer also, I had $20 rolled over in one of my variable um, binder envelopes, sorry, that was household. I reflect, I said that in my budget. 
at a roll over of twenty dollars so that would be reflected in cash as my starting balance do i put my sinking funds in cash balance here no only my variable envelopes moving let's go back to my checking account so after the cash withdrawal i had left 28 dollars and 58 cents then i did a check deposit of 1000 that was my medical refund that i spoke about in previous videos i got it so i now after recording it in my account i record it again and i sent it to my emergency fund as savings of a thousand then i'm left with 28.58 once more however netflix was charged on my account i thought i canceled that subscription apparently i didn't and it was 28.58 and i my my checking account was zero dollars and zero cents on the 6th of November, I also did a cash deposit. That category would be savings used. I bought my mother something for her birthday. It came to $100. All the transactions that, I hi that are highlighted are basically my budget categories. And I spoke about that. I will leave the link on budget categories in the description box below. So my bills are all in green, my debt is in red, groceries, these are my budget categories that I came up with, these are my budget categories that I want to track, and you, you formulate your budget categories from your budget, your written budget. All of this is from my written budget. I do want to check my variable expenses specifically, so each of them is considered a budget category in my fixed expenses i came up with three two sorry budget categories and that is bills and debt you could have however many you want if you want to track your insurance separately you could have insurance it's all up to you but this is how you go about so after writing out all the transaction that took place in your checking account you then color code according to your budget category moving on to my cash so from my cash transfer of 150 and you would see that is very accurate because after paying off all my fixed bills i had left over 1515 in my budget my written budget and i used that for variable expenses and cash stuffing my low priority and luxury binder then I wrote down the amount of 1535 Based on my budget, my written budget, I sent 520 towards my low priority sinking funds. My low priority sinking funds are in my blue binder, and you guys saw me stuff this. And my luxury $70 and $75 went to my savings challenge. After that, I have I had left it 70 and from then on, I started tracking my variable expenses per transaction, per expense. So groceries, the day that I spent money in groceries, the day that I took out money for transport, everything is written down and color coded according to my budget categories. It is that simple. Um, I do want to say if, for example, at the ending of the week, you took out a dollar from your groceries envelope, make and you put it in your penny challenge make sure you write that down because when you close out your budget on where did my money go it is important to balance your um your account so everything you have you recorded here must be reflected here but we we i will will come to that where did my money go at the ending of the month but essentially i want you i wanted to show you guys how to go about using the expense tracker now kamiko love usually don't put ending balance for cash she just like write the transaction but i'm somebody i'm very thorough i want to know where each dollar went so the same thing i do in my checking i would do for my cash and that's how we that's how i know so i'm at the second page for my cash um you guys are seeing this on the 11th which is sunday november 
I am left with $200 until my next paycheck, which is November 23rd. So I have $200 to work with for the remaining of the two weeks until my next paycheck. Like I said, I'm very thorough. I want to see the balance I have left, what I have to work with. These I have not color coded yet. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean by color coding. Using your budget categories, you just name your highlighters according to your budget categories and you give them a color. So household is purple so i look for my purple um highlighter and i look for any household transaction that i did and i do that at the ending of each week so i have a book that i walk with everywhere i go and if i make a purchase and i don't get a receipt i make sure i write that down i take a note of that so that when i'm come at the ending of the week when i come to um write down my expenses on my expense tracker I know exactly where my money went in that sense. I don't do this every day. I do this every week. I come in here every week. So I am I am left with two weeks until my next paycheck, which is November 23rd. And I usually get paid on the 23rd to accommodate the next month. So my 23rd paycheck on November is for December. That sort of thing. I hope you guys are following. <laughs> I talk pretty quickly and yeah so household i'm gonna look for any household transaction i did and one is right here it is in purple and i'm just going to what you want to do is highlight forget about your ending balance just focus on your transaction and your budget category so we have savings i did not do any savings this week so i'm not going to yes i did no that savings used now savings used i want to speak on savings used savings used meaning i took out cash from one of my sinking funds so my pet care i bought shampoo for my dog and that came to ten dollars um i like to have another sheet where i just write down all the savings that i used in my checking account in my envelope so that way i won't forget when i am closing off my budget but that's besides the point what i want to say is if you're gonna use money from those envelopes you're gonna make sure you record it as cash use so for example i took out ten dollars from my pet care i deposited in cash you have to enter it twice and then dog shampoo is what I used to buy. So that's saving, I used the money for, sorry. So the category would be savings use $10. And I'm gonna now subtract the 10 to draw from what I deposited. So I'm left with 200. Make sure that you make records of these, whether you use savings from your checking account or your binders, it has to be reflected in your expense tracker that it does not have a color co it's not color coded because when you go to your where did my money go this is where you're gonna put the tally all the savings you use and put it here that's why i have it on one page so i could just tally all the savings that i use throughout the month of november and put it here because now my monthly inflow at the ending of the month would be a lot different than what i started with which is what we call our earned income and we're gonna get to that point when i'm closing my budget we're not there yet one step at a time we're looking at my expense tracker so let us continue color coding so i don't i did not do any savings groceries is in yellow so that's eight dollars seventeen ten um i think that's it yeah eating out you don't have to go in any specific order i just go with the flow eating out i did eating out hair five um hair 15. and you want to make sure you highlight the right number because it's gonna affect your budget when you're closing out from the at the ending of the month 
miscellaneous is in this so i did a miscellaneous on the top here um five i did beauty 65 i bought hair dye because i am gonna color my hair red i bought some hair dye on amazon so that came out from my beauty envelope of 65 dollars um transport is also getting highlighted savings oh i have a savings challenge and i said i didn't so that's five pet care is not getting highlighted because that's savings that i used it's not a budget category savings it's i'm just going to put pet care at the bottom where you see order and i'm going to put ten dollars here so that way i don't forget to count it but that is it guys this is how you use the expense tracker on the top here i do have what i track in my account like my fixed bills money i send towards my high priority and my cushion is what you will see in my checking account for cash i do variable expenses as well as sinking funds that is my luxury and my luxury binder and my low priority binder these two sinking funds are in cash so that's why i have sinking funds here and also savings challenges you want to make sure you have an idea as to what you're tracking on both sides of the pages checking cash only if you only use your checking account you're gonna have just one checking account and just go ahead and track as you go according to your budget categories your budget categories like i said you attain or you get from a written budget you need to have you need to establish a written budget first then move on to budget categories and then move on to tracking you cannot track expenses if you do not have a budget and you do not know your budget categories you're just gonna have figures everywhere on the page and you do not know what it's for so ensure that you have a written budget from a written budget, you formulate your budget categories as I have here and also you start tracking. You give each budget categories a color. You just get some cheap highlighters on Amazon or anywhere at your local stores and you just cut paper, tape it on the highlighters so that way you won't forget which highlighter is for which budget categories and then you go ahead to highlight. I will come back at the ending of the month to show you guys how to tally up those budget categories and how to use where the where did my money go sheet at the, for the month of November. So as you can see, I have already started. I started, your starting balance would be your checking and your cash. So 20, 25 95 plus 20 will give me 45 95. Your earned income would be your budgeted income. The income you started with at the beginning of the month, which is this one here, total inflow. Other income is any check or side hustle that you did throughout the month of November after you've cashed stuff and paid bills. Whatever you accumulated throughout the month of November would be here. So I got a check of $1,000. I recorded it as other income. Your savings used would be any sinking funds money that you took out and you used. You're going to record it right here. And that will give you your total monthly inflow. It has to be more than what you started with. If you're getting other income, if you have a starting balance, and if you used savings, then you go on to tracking as you closing out your budget. So your monthly budget column right here is what you started budgeting with for bills. You look at all your bills in your budget. You calculate what is all your bills amounts or total and you put it in your monthly budget your debt same 
your household what you budget for household for me it was 120 groceries 90 like i said everything you need in this monthly budget comes from this what you started with in the beginning in the beginning of the month right now monthly spent is what you get from your tally when you tally up both your checking account as for your budget categories so what at the ending of the month what i get here hey 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 whatever i get in after clothes tracking goes in oh my god this page is monthly spent that way you would know if you spend more in bills more in you sent more money towards debt you spend more money in eating out as opposed to what you budgeted you get me so this is it guys see you in my next um video and that would be the where did my money go for the month of november